now is the best time to be an independent creator just because of new media and the internet. Now more than ever, you can do it on your own. And it's more work, and it's a hassle, and it's a headache, and it's scary. But so is handing over your life's work and creation to a publisher and hoping they do the right thing. My name is Scott Kurtz, and I've been a cartoonist since the fourth grade, and I've been a professional cartoonist since the year 2000. I, I do a webcomic called PvP, or Player vs. Player. It's, it's, it's very much like a sitcom in, a, in comic strip form. I kind of base it off of news radio and um, night court in those second family work environments where the people you work with are, are really your, your close-knit family. And it's about a group of guys that all work at a magazine that kind of focuses on video games and pop culture. Seattle really felt like home, which is why we moved up here. And it was really important to me to move the characters over and make Seattle a character of the comic strip. The, the way that we earn money on our, our comics, since we're not being paid by a publisher, we have to find ways to monetize it ourselves. And pretty much the top three ways of doing it is selling advertising on your website, selling the content itself uh, as a product digitally, and then um, selling merchandise based on it. And so in any given year, how those three business tiers do changes. But now with the web, you can get your independent comic strip in front of as many people, uh, an audience as large as a Marvel or a DC could, but you don't need them. You know, you can just you can put it up there, and if you're smart enough or savvy enough or sometimes lucky enough, um, it'll spread around and, and get in front of people. So our philosophy has always been give the work away to build your audience, and then they'll become loyal and devoted, and they'll want to buy your your shirt or your your book later on. But the idea of selling the content itself is kind of new to us. Um, it's, it's, it's always been counter to our philosophy and the way that we've done things. As comic book proper um, artists who have always sold a physical item are now selling a digital copy. They're, they're pitching this to an audience that's never read their stuff digitally. Our audience has been reading our stuff digitally for free for over a decade. And now we're going to tell them, you know, if you'd like to read it, um, now you have to, there's six clicks and there's a charge. And I don't know how well that's going to go over. I think the key to remember is that the content delivery systems are going to change. Um, the media is going to change. But the heart of what we do is we, we convey our perspective on, on the world and our commentary on it in a unique way and in an artistic way. And that's what, that's what cartooning has always been about. It's been about distilling life down to um, simple words and pictures. The, the art of cartooning has been around for over 100 years. I don't know that it's going to get any better. The most successful stuff is that very simple four or five panel strip. So I don't know what the future is, but what I do know is that the talented people will be there to take advantage of it.